In this video, we will walk through an example on match FX swap. Three months ago, a US based trader entered a short position of 100 million euros in a three month forward contract against US dollar. This was done to hedge their long position of 100 million euros in corporate bonds. At the time, the all in forward rate was 1.057 US dollar per euro. Today, the forward contract is nearing maturity and the trader needs to roll over the hedge for another 3 months. The value of the bonds has remained constant at 100 million euros and the updated market rates are as follows. The spot rate for dollar per euro is 1.0418 for the bid and 1.0472 for the offer. And the 3 month forward points would be 60 bid and 82 offer. To maintain the hedge, the strategy involves executing an FX swap. Initially, the trader held a long position of 100 million euros in corporate bonds. To hedge this, they entered a short position of 100 million euros in a forward contract. Now, three months later, the current position remains the same. Long 100 million euros in bonds. And to maintain the hedge, the trader would need to short 100 million euros in the forward contract. To use an FX swap to roll this hedge over, it would involve buying 100 million euros in the spot market and selling 100 million euros forward. This would result in what we call a match FX swap because the amount that you would buy spot and the amount that you will sell forward are the same. For the spot rate, we would use the mid market spot rate. That would involve finding the average of the bid and the offer spot rate. So we'll take 1.0418 plus 1.0472, we'll divide that by 2, and that gives us 1.0445. For the forward points, uh, we would have to take the specific side based on the forward position. Now given that the trader needs to short 100 million euros forward, to short the base currency or to sell the base currency, we would use the bid side forward points. If you need to buy the base currency, we use the offer side forward points. So taking the mid market spot rate and the bid, for, bid side forward points, the forward rate would be 1.0445 plus 60 over 10,000 because we need to convert the points to decimal and that gives us 1.0505. So this is the all in forward rate for the FX swap. Now let's visually recap on the match FX swap strategy. So this is the timeline okay, from time zero, which was when they initially entered into the forward position. And now we are at month three, which is when the trader wants to roll the H over. The initial position would be a long 100 million euros of corporate bonds, which the currency exposure is H with a short 100 million uh, euro forward at the forward rate of $1.057 per euro. Three months later, the value of the corporate bonds remained constant at 100 million euros. So to roll this position over, we, uh, the trader would need a short 100 million euro forward again, similar to what we had at time equals to zero. But if you are to use a FX swap position, then what happens is the trader would have to buy 100 million euros spot at the mid market spot rate of 1.0445 dollar per euro then the forward leg would involve taking a short 100 million euro forward position at the forward rate of 1.0505 dollar per euro so to keep in mind for a match fx swap the spot rate would always be based on the mid market spot rate which is the average of the bid and offer and for the four points, uh, you will need to take note whether you are buying the base currency or you are selling the base currency in the forward position. If you are buying the base, we use the offer side. If you are selling the base, we use the bid side forward points.